So I'm just going to show you how you can connect up a sequencer block to uh, the drums block, which has got some drum sounds in it. So I open up the drums block and then we have different types of sequencers. If I type in sequencer here, you've got five different sequencers in the, in the toy box free pack. Um, the gate sequencer is good for sequencing drum sounds, so we'll use that. Put that there. Connect up the gate to the reset and the output here to the input of the mixer. I can then do a kind of pattern like this, something like this. Maybe I can put a snare in by double clicking on this here I can make an accent so it's a bit louder when it plays. So I can make that sound like a snare if I connect that up here to the modulation bus of the drums block. Then I can have the uh, this accent port that sends a signal when these light up have that select a different sound. sequence and duplicate that stop them for a moment and you can chain them together like this that way when when this one finishes playing this one will play and when this one finishes playing that one will play not only this one's connected to the John's block so I need to connect them both up I can use a sums a sum block this is block here which basically adds together whatever's connected to it. So let's connect the gate from both of these blocks to that, and the output of that to the reset of the drums block. And then we can take the accent, do the same thing, connect that to the modulation input. So we're selecting which sound is triggered by the accent gate. Let's see if that works. So we'll do some variation on the second half. Okay, so that's a simple way of connecting up two sequence of blocks to control some drums. So you got the two bars of, of uh, two bars of, of the drum pan. Great.